I, I don't think there is good or bad uh, closing rate. Depends on how much it costs you to get one lead. If it costs you one thousand dollars to get one lead, closing rate of fifty percent is bad. But if it costs you one dollar to get one hundred leads, and your closing rate is five percent, then you want to have five percent closing rate to fifty percent closing rate. So that's the most important thing, like cost per lead, not you know like percentage of leads closed. I think, because why does it matter? Like the, the I mean, I, of course I was I was always saying that you have to have as high conversion rate as possible, and of course you do, because this is how funnels work. But then, uh, if you have the system on the place of people who are in place, of people like doing sales and doing everything, you don't really look at conversion rate anymore. You just look how much it costs you to get one customer. That's what you look at in the end of the day. If, if this product I'm offering you was the best product uh, you can get or the service, and uh, if, you, if you ask them, okay, so uh, do you like working with me? Or like you ask all these questions before you show them the price and then you say, all right, uh, so um, yeah, okay, based on what you told me, you want to work with me, okay, let's let's move forward. Um, you, you know, you just need to preempt these objections before, like, this is very simple, like, like you, you, you need to ask him before, like, do, 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 like if you, if I offered you the best thing, uh, the best service, service ever, would you want to work with me and start as fast as possible? And is this project important? Just, you know, just standard qualification, like you, you qualify him for uh, importance uh, and all this other stuff for whether they are decision maker, whether um, they want to move forward today. Uh, and you also qualify them for whether they want to work with you or not. So if they are willing to work with you, then mm, there is no reason for them to tell you, I want to talk with other freelancers. You just ask them before you place an offer. So uh, let's 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 have some example here. So let's let's do qualificator for money, right? Let's let's make this softer. So how to make it softer to ask them and qualify them whether they can afford something or not. So uh, the bad question, the too forward question as you as you put this would be uh, if this if this would cost ten thousand dollars, would you move forward or not? Right? So this is this is probably too 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 forward. But uh, what I do is I think I just I have a very soft way to qualify for money, and it's very honest way. Uh, very honest, very straightforward, but also not too pushy in any way. I just say that um, this service will cost potentially this. I don't know exactly how much. Like I don't need to know exactly how much, because there is maybe you need to calculate. Uh, exactly how much is this going to cost you to deliver this project to them but I I would say um, you need to consider uh, the spent of you know this amount of money um, just um, and I'm, I'm just I'm just being forward with you I'm just upfront with you about this so that um, you know you, you know what, what you know like there's there's a point for us to continue this conversation and um, you know they would just tell you. I think it's a very polite thing to do, and uh, I, I don't think it's rude in any way. Because imagine that you come to to buy some kind of a product, right, or a service, and somebody is is talking with you for for I don't know two hours, and you expect something to cost I don't know two hundred dollars, and it turns out to be ten thousand. It's it's waste of your time, right? So if you want to qualify that, if you want to get them to qualify to you, you can just ask them about their motivation to work with you, but not specifically with you, but for their motivation to work on this project. For example, why would you want to work on this project, or why would you put, why would you like to put time in this project? Why do you do this? Uh, why are you focusing on this process in the business currently? Why not something else? Why are you willing to work with a freelancer or outsourced company? Why are you willing to work with uh, 
someone uh, like me or w would you like to work with someone like me or, or like w what what does it sound like to you so far and if so if you would like to work with someone like me why would you like to work with someone like me why would you see the value in this kind of cooperation if you do I'm, I'm not saying you see the value maybe you don't uh, but uh, having said that you do having said that you would like to work with me I'm just wondering what is the best value I can provide to you what is uh, my advantage from your perspective and I think this is uh, very uh, very honest and not asshole ish question to put it this way I understand that you don't want to put it the way that uh, you know you said before like I got five I got five customers approaching me every single day dude why would I want to work with you? Who the fuck you think you are? I mean, I mean, this is <laughs> this, this this is bad. I, I know who told you this. I mean, this is the frame. This is how you think because you're awesome, and because you deliver awesome service, and you're the best on the market. And this is how you feel about yourself. Very valuable, very cocky. It's good, but you do not want to come across like this too much because you know it's it's just unpolite simply right understand their needs and be empathetic about where they are right now and where they want to be with their business or with the current process in the business and focus on how you can help them to get from point a to b if you focus on what we discussed last time and if you really uh, care about them if you're really empathetic to help them if you're really empathetic about their business and if you really, really, really honestly feel that you can help them and you're just wondering what is the best way you can help them and why do they see the value in working with you? Why can't they do why won't they do this themselves? Like this is this is a very good question. And why is this a good question? Why won't you do this yourself? The good it's a good question because you do qualify them on one side, you get them to to convince you to work with them, you you, you 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 know you do qualify them well, but at the same time you're asking them, you basically are asking them, uh, what is the best way I can help you? Like, where do you see the value? Like, what is the what do you like about me here? Is it I can give you? Like, do you like my T-shirt? Do you like my pants? What can I give you? Because you don't know, right? Like, I'm you know it's just metaphor, but like, imagine you you talk with someone on the street and you 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 like something about them. You know what you like about them, and they know you like something about what they have. And uh, they are willing to sell you one of those things they have, but they don't know exactly which thing that you that you have they like. So um, you just ask them, like, do you like the T-shirt or do you like the hoodie or the shoes? And and then uh, they tell you, yeah, I like the I like the shoes. So for example, I like that you are. Uh, you speak English fluently and I like that you have uh, three employees in your agency and I like that you have a lot of reviews and I like that you deliver projects very quickly. Let's make it simple. Like, why won't you do this yourself? Like, what, what can I give you? Like, what's the most important thing I can give you? What, what's the biggest value I can give you? Why wouldn't you do this yourself? What's the most important thing I can give you that you can't or don't have time or you don't want to do yourself? What's the thing you don't want to do yourself, right? Like, why don't you want to do this yourself? Don't you have expertise? Don't you have time? Like, why would you want to exchange money for my services? Because, you know, it's some, some form of an exchange, right? You always want to keep money to yourself. But, like, why, why, why do I hire someone to cook for me? Because I value my time. Like, I know how to cook, right? I, I cook well. Uh, but I, I don't have time for it. Or in other words, I prefer to spend this time on working on my business rather than cooking because I know that I can pay someone $7 an hour for cooking, for example. And in this time, I can make 100 For example, like I'm not saying that I'm making $100 an hour, but I'm saying that based on my calculation, 
an expectation. I'm probably making more than $7 an hour running my own business. So um, this is my my exchange. So if, if my chef came to me and he asked me if he tried to close me, right, like, um, a deal with me like he, the good question to ask would be so do you like to do you like me to cook for you because you don't know how to cook or because you don't have time to cook but you know how to 